You know, um, I guess in um, when I was when I was playing with the 49ers um, um, in I think in 2000 and uh, 1990, I think um, my ex-wife came and told me that um, that I was a manic depressant and. Um, you know, my whole life people have been telling me I'm Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, and you know, the ups and downs. I never could, I never um, could understand my mood swings or, and, uh, but I, I, at that point when she did that, I, she became like everybody else that, that always wanted to put labels on me. And um, so I ran from it. I was about 20, 25, 26. Um, but, um, my, my mood swing was really bad back then. It, it became a struggle. Um, I, really, I really didn't um, understand until um, when I retired, um, I, started, um, I started doing drugs and, and drinking a lot because I, I just wanted to hide. And, um, and you know, at some point, you know, when I saw the fear and anger in my, um, kids and family's eyes, it made me go to get treatment. And when I went, I went to a dual diagnose center. You went to what? A dual, a dual diagnose center. So they treated the mental illness and the drug addiction alcohol. And the amazing thing was, is that once they got my medication under control, the alcoholism and the drug addiction was gone. And um, it, was, it was more or less um, me hiding from the pain hiding from my past. And, um, and then, you know, um, I was there for 45 days and I, I, you know, that's when I was supposed to leave and I was scared to leave because I never felt that good before. I never felt alive, felt like I had energy. I, I could see the world different. And when I came out, I just made a, I made a statement that, you know what, I want to give this away. I want people to understand they don't have to live like this. You know, they don't have to go through what I go through. And when I talk to players, you know, and, and, and when I deal with kids is, I, I didn't know how to process my emotions, my anger, my feelings as a kid. So I took it from a kid to high school, high school to college, and college to the NFL. You know, so um, I, just, I just feel like as a nation, um, mental illness should be a focus. And every time somebody um, do a shooting or something and they go, oh, he suffered from a mental illness. But what they need to say was he knew he had it. He, he chose not to, to um, get medication to, to, treat to, to treat it. So don't just say he got a mental illness. When you throw that out, you send millions of people back into the darkness. You need to, you need to get people to understand, yes, he knew he had it. He knew he was dealing with it and he chose not to. You don't have to do that. And that's a big thing that, um, that I want people to understand. Who cares about the stigma? Hey, you got a, if you got heart problems, guess what? You got to take medicine the rest of your life, right? That's what I got. Hey, I got to take it the rest of my life and I'm good with it.